Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. In the aftermath of the disastrous and historic flooding across western Japan, survivors and recovery crews will continue to face sweltering heat and humidity. The death toll rose to 203 on Friday, with dozens more people still missing. The hardest hit prefectures are in Hiroshima, Okayama, and Iheim. And any rain in the flood-stricken areas is expected to be limited to a stray shower or thunderstorm, mainly in the afternoon and evening hours and over the higher terrain. Even in the areas that stay dry, there is a risk for more landslides due to the unstable ground. As dry weather dominates, temperatures will rise and create uncomfortable conditions for those without power or access to clean drinking water, uh, AccuWeather senior meteorologist Eric Leister said. So folks, uh, the numerous damaged bridges, roads, and railroad tracks are making it difficult for residents to get the uh, supplies and much needed aid that they're seeking. And the hot and humid conditions will put a strain on flood victims and cleanup crews. This is an intense situation here in Japan. Uh, I'll leave you a link to this. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up and a share. And artificial intelligence, weird weather, pestilence, spiritual warfare, politics, gun control, and the new world order. They're all in my must-read Wayfarers books, Fortress and Light, available in Kindle and paperback at the link below. Read Fortress first, then go on to Light. They're fiction, or are they? Check them out. But most importantly of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.